An outbreak of a devastating insect is forcing a quarantine in one Minneapolis neighborhood. Gypsy moth caterpillars are beginning to cause damage to trees in Lowry Hill. What's prompted the State Department of Agriculture to issue an order which prohibits anyone from moving any wood out of that area. Rachel Slavic explains why homeowners have to take precautions. Every hill may be an inviting neighborhood, but recently some unwelcome guests have targeted this community. Pretty annoying, actually. Making themselves at home on Brian Gore's property. You know, you see them around, but then they'll like crawl on the side of the house and the garage. His large oak is now host to gypsy moth caterpillars and the destruction caused by the fuzzy insects. Just a lot of, you know, stuff coming out of the trees. You know, they're chewing up the... The, the leaves a little bit and you see bits and pieces of leaves coming off. Brian isn't the only homeowner seeing the infestation, pointing to a major problem according to Gear Friso of the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Well, the damage can be severe. This is uh, one of the probably single worst forest pests uh, that the country has ever experienced. 20 square blocks of the neighborhood are now under quarantine. We are trying to make sure that there's no movement of potentially infested material. The reason for the quarantine is simple. These little guys can hitch a ride anywhere. In this case, the photographer's tripod. Burlap round trees catch the caterpillars, traps target the full grown moths, and further treatment is expected in the future. You know, the good part is, is that uh, this infestation has been identified fairly early. The eviction of a tiny invader is underway before it can cause irreparable damage. Rachel Slavic, WCCO 4 News. The Ag Department told Rachel gypsy moth infestations pop up from time to time, but rarely do they see one this severe. There is an informational meeting on Tuesday night from 630 to 8 that will be held at the Kenwood Community Center.